Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Saving Up. This is a song by Clarence Clemens and the Red Bank Rockers. Thanks very much to patron Pear Roger Schroen for the request. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song is in the key of D major. Actually transposes to the key of E major temporarily for the sax solo, then comes back to D major afterwards. Tempo is roughly about 105 
BPM. So let's go through the main chords. You've got some really cool kind of funky style uh, triad chords. Um, and this, these happen in the choruses and the, the sax solo, okay? So let's go through those chords first. So what we've got, these are all on the G, the B and the E strings. Okay, um, now in the song structure, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the screen now, uh, I've just put the main chord types on, okay? So I'll put, instead of this D over F sharp that we're just about to go through, it will just be uh, a D and then, just to make it a little bit simpler. So don't forget any chord structures will also be in the description. So hopefully you find that quite useful. Uh, in terms of structure, it's actually really straightforward. <clears throat> and you basically have this eight bar phrase going, looping and looping around, so, which is quite cool. So, <clears throat> so chord wise, first chord is D over F sharp, but we're gonna call it D in the song structure. Uh, so fret wise, what we've got is a middle finger um, 11th fret G, and then you're barring the 10th fret on the B and the E strings. Okay, so that's the D over F sharp. Um, we're just gonna call it D from now on. And then we've also got uh, A over E, okay? Okay, which just looks like a, you're playing a D major chord, but just up here. So that is nine, 10, nine, and just play it like a normal D major chord with your first, second, and third fingers. That's A over E, and we'll just refer to that as A from now on. And then we've got a B minor chord. Okay, so this is, um, or B minor over D. We'll just refer to it as B minor, and that's gonna be uh, barring the seventh fret and the G, B, and the E strings. Okay, and then we've also got a G chord. This also just looks like a D shape. Uh, so fret-wise, a seven G, eight B, seven E, and it just looks like a D major shape. Cool, um, so that was your G chord. Okay, and now we've also got in the, um, the sax solo, it basically shifts up a whole tone or equivalent of two frets on the guitar. Um, so it basically everything's shifted up. So instead of the D, we've now got an E. <coughs> so that is uh, 30 fret wise, 13, 12, 12. Uh, so again, barring the, the 12th fret with the first finger, the middle finger, 13th fret G. So that's E over G sharp, which we'll refer to that as E. And then we've also got a B, over F sharp, which we're gonna to refer to as B. So that's, again, another D shape. And fret-wise, 11, uh, 11, 12, 11. And then we've also got a C sharp minor over E. We're just gonna call it a, a, a C sharp minor chord, okay? It basically means one of the notes within the chord, those slash chords, um, it basically means that you've got a different root note. But uh, yes, yeah, so a C sharp minor over E, but we're gonna call it C sharp minor. That's just barring the ninth fret on the G, B, and the E strings. Okay, cool. So um, let's just go through the, the main, <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll go through the, the main chorus section. So you've got the first chorus, okay, and you've basically just got this eight bar uh, phrase, okay? So you've got two bars of D, two bars of A, two bars of B minor, and two bars of G. And in terms of rhythm, all you're doing is, is playing kind of short, snappy notes on beats two and four, okay? So you're doing this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then A major, B minor, <coughs> and G major. So it's really simple, but really <coughs> effective, because obviously you've got piano, and organ and all those other instruments going on as well. So that's basically the, the, um, the chorus section. So you've got that D major <coughs> for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then A major. Two, B minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A, uh, G major. So you do that, two rounds of that for the first chorus. Now in the second chorus, you just do one round of it. Then in the sax solo, you, this is where the key change happens. You're gonna go into E major and just do the same rhythm. So nice and simple, one, but really effective. Uh, e major and then B major. Uh, C sharp minor. Then just on the two and four, then A major. Four, one, two, three. Cool, and then the third chorus, um, it actually fades out on record, but um, what I've done, the backing track I've made, 
<coughs> again, any backing tracks um, or PDFs of guitar profiles, you can find those on the Patreon channel, patreon.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen guitar. So the backing track I've made for this, um, instead of just fading out, I've just made it three rounds of that eight bar phrase and then finished on any D chords. So you could either play a D up here with that, that shape here or normal D chord, or even the, the kind of um, the fancy um, riffs that we're gonna do in a bit. Cool, so yeah, so basically it's pretty straightforward um, for those bits. Um, also, in you can hear on the record a, <coughs> a quite a cool um, a backing guitar. Um, that's quite prominent in the, the verses. Uh, so in the choruses, I would just uh, suggest, and the sax solo, just suggest what we've just done with that one, two, three, four. Now in the verses, you can hear the bass. I think the bass and the guitar are doing very similar things in the verses. You've got this kind of like, um, kind of palm muted, kind of like nice bright uh, sort of sound. You've got this cool riff, okay. Uh, and basically on the start of each bar, it follows this eight bar phrase, so two bars of D, two bars of A, two bars of B minor, two bars of G, uh, with this rhythm, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do, again, you're gonna, gonna come in on the, it kind of starts on the end of four. So you've got that snare here, right at the start of the song, then so four and, uh, so I'm playing this with my third finger, fifth fret E string, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four and, and then you've got this kind of, again, staccato, just kind of like we did up there, short snappy notes, two, three, four, and then you've got this, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So it's just do 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 that kind of rhythm. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, and basically you've just got that, again, okay, you're gonna do the D chord. This is a D note, so it goes one, two, three, four, D. One and two and three, and then it goes open E string. You're gonna do the fifth fret E, uh, e string, which is the A. So that goes nicely over the kind of A chord. So, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. And now on the end of this bar, we've got the first fret um, A string, okay? kind of a little passing kind of bluesy notes and then it's going to go second for a string uh so this is the b okay so that's uh chords five and six one and two and three and four and one and, and you're going to alternate that between the <coughs> the uh second fret e string one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then for the last two bars again these kind of wrists start on the end of four one and two and three and this is going now fifth fret um, a string and then i'm using my little finger here it doesn't matter too much what you use so this is the over the g chord and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it basically loops around so in the verse <coughs> the verse sections we've basically got um in fact they're both they're all three of them are exactly the same uh, and the second verse you can hear some kind of nice cool little organ part that I put in the backing track. Um, yes, yeah, so you've basically got this two, this eight bar phrase three times in the verse. So you've got the D, one, two, three, four, bar two, and this is two bars of A, passing note in the B, and then the G for two bars. Cool, so that's basically all the rhythm parts. Okay, so let's now take a look at the main lead parts for this song. So for, for throughout most of this song, apart from the chorus when you've got the funky kind of parts that we've just been through, you've basically got all these riffs that are predominantly based around the G and the E strings using either hybrid picking, so with your thumb and I'm using my middle finger, or you could even probably do it kind of completely um, finger picked. So it's a really cool um, technique. Let's take a look at the intro first. So what we've got, I'm playing, again, shape-wise, I'm really careful about what shapes I use with my, my fretting hand. And again, so all the notes I'm gonna play on the G string, I'm gonna play with my pick. Uh, and then for the notes on the E string, I'm gonna use my uh, middle finger. And uh, some of the notes I, I might pick as well, okay? So starting off uh, on the 12th fret, the G and the E strings, 
Okay, I'm playing it with my third and my little finger, and you're gonna do this. Okay, so sliding up to the 12th to the 14th, you got this. One E and a two, three, four, and beat four of the next bar. Got this kind of short, snappy staccato quaver. One, two, three, four. Now I think he's doing a slide in the next bar. This is bar uh, three, two, three, four. Okay, um, so i just play those first three bars. So one, two, three, there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then on beat four of the next bar, I hit the 12th fret uh, G and B again. And then what you're gonna do is this, <coughs> this kind of shape, okay? Um, <coughs> so you're gonna use your third finger, 11th fret G, middle finger, 10th fret E. Okay, so this is uh, the F, an F sharp and a D together. Okay, uh, hit those together. I'm using, yeah, again, middle finger, ring finger. It's really important to you kind of to be able to chop and change quite comfortably between all these different patterns. Uh, and that lasts for the whole of the bar. And then the next bar, you're gonna come in on beat three, one, two, three, and four, and. So I like to do this with my third finger, middle finger, and that allows me to then for this, when I'm going to nine nine here, <coughs> which is on the and of three, just slide my third finger down and then add my little finger on the ninth fret of the E string. So going one, two, three, and four, there's a rest, and then go to the seven, seven on the G and the E. Okay, so I just play the whole of that intro. So one, two, three, four, 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 Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and. Cool, and some of the notes can play around with how long they last for and how long they ring out for, etc. cetera. Don't be too um, sort of strict about that, but um, some really cool riffs here. So that's the intro. Let's now take a look at the first verse. Again, a lot of the same sort of similar riffs, and he's kind of almost kind of vamping or sort of jamming over these kind of, that main kind of eight bar phrase. So you start off in the same way. So this first verse, you got, uh, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then that 14, 14 again on beat four, and then 12, uh, 12 fret G, 12 fret E on bar three, two, three, four, one, two, and you got the 12 fret G and E again on beat four, and then 11, 10. One, two, three, four, one, two, and this time you're gonna do the 11, 10, and nine, nine again on uh, beat three, three and and then rest on beat four and then i've got a suggested sliding in to the uh, seventh fret uh, g and e strings okay and then you've got again they play around with the rhythm as well so one two three and four and okay this is bar one two three four five six seven eight uh, um, so the the end of the first round of the first verse let me just play those eight bars one two three four one two three Four, one, two, three, 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 and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so again, nice and straightforward, but it's really effective. And now we're gonna to go to the second part of the first verse. So one, two, same again, starting wise. Then you've got on the and of three, one, two, three, and four, and. So I'm picking these, uh, little finger, 14th fret E, 14th fret G. So one, two, three, and four. And then 12, 12 again, two, three, four. And then you've got some cool sort of slides. So one, two, three, four, uh, three, four. Okay, so this is 12G, 12E, one, two, three, four. Okay, so shifting into them, it's a really cool technique. And then 11, 10 again, two, three, four, one, two, and then this is really nice, this bit. Again, very kind of classic, kind of country style sort of soloing, one, two, and then you've got this um, semi-quavers here, or 16th notes, one, two, three, E. So sliding from nine to 11 on the G string, three, E, and then, and again, I'm picking this, three, E, and, 3E e and 3E e and a middle finger, 10th fret, as in with your, your fretting hand, picking hand, sorry. Middle finger, 10th fret E, and then 9-9. Nine, nine. 
77. So these are so the way you count this bar of the in the first verse, the towards the end of the first verse, you got this one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And it's doing something like this at the end of the first verse, one and two, three and four and some sort of rhythmic pattern like that. So go one and two, three and four and. Okay, that's all on the seventh fret. Shift in on the end of one to the seventh fret G. One and two, three and four and. Cool, so I'll just play the whole of the second round of the first verse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, and four. Uh, so one, two, three, and four, and. Quite fully that bit. One, and two, three, and four, and. Cool, so that was the intro in the first verse. Okay, so let's take a look at the second verse, okay? So it starts off the same as the first verse in the intro, so you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, and then you've got beats three and four, three, four. So sliding up into that 14th fret G and B strings, three, four, and then 12th fret G and B, three, four, one, two, three, then 12, 12 on beat four again, bar four, and then 11, 10 again on bar five, one, two, three, four, one, two, and they've got 11, 10, three, and four. Now it's got this cool kind of 16th note uh, rhythm going on here. So I'll just play it quickly. So it's kind of two bars, very similar, one e and a two and uh, one e and a two and three and four and one e and a two and three and four and. Okay, so I'll just do this. So the first beat you're going one e and a. So I'm actually picking all this. Uh, one e and a, one e and a. So that's going down up. One e and a two and then some um, down strokes. Apart after that up stroke, everything's down stroke. So one e and a two and so some mutes, so muting the strings, and three, and then seven, seven, mute, mutes. It's all on the seventh fret here, and some mutes. So you've got one E and a two, and three, and four, and. And same again, one E and a two, and three, and four, and. Cool, and then we've got the second round of that second verse. So you've got this one, starting again, three, four as normal, one, two, and then this next bit is the same again, three, four, and then 12, 12, one, two, three, four, and they've got a slightly different rhythm here. So this is bar four of the uh, second, round two of the second verse. You've got one, two, three, and four, and. So it's a slightly different there. So on the and of three and four, you're doing the, uh, the 12 fret GMB. So one, two, three, and four, and. And then 11, 10 on the G and B, a G, a G and E again as normal. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and. So that comes in on the and of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, on bar six of the second round of the second verse. One, two, three, and four. And then it goes seven, seven again. One, two, three, and. Okay, so you've got this bar. Uh, kind of penultimate bar of the second verse, one, two, three, and four. And then you've got um, sort of another cool little rhythmic pattern leading up to the second chorus, okay? So I think something like this, one, two, e and a three, and four, and. Again, be careful to sort of listen out for that staccato when you're ringing out notes when you're not. One, two, e and a three, and four, and. Okay, so you've got one, down, up, down, 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 down. Cool. So uh, what I'll do is I'll play the whole of the second verse. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one and a two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and a three, and four, and. Cool, so that's all the second verse. Okay, so let's take a look at the third verse. 
We've got a few more interesting riffs happening here, which is quite cool. So start off as normal, 12 to 14 slide. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's just coming on beat four there with a 14, 14. And then 12, 12, G and E. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is bar four of the third verse. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, a little bit fiddly, so you've got some um, semi quaver 16th notes here. T use your third finger to slide from 10 to 12 on the G string, one, and then hit the little finger 12th fret E string. So one, two, three, and four. And then 11, 10 on the G and the E. One, two, three, four, and they come in on the end of two here. One, two, and three. I love this bit. One, two, and three, and four, and. Seven seven. So, what you're doing is sliding from nine to eleven on the, on the G, hitting. You can pick it or hit it with your finger. One, one, two, and three. And you're shifting down to the kind of a little sort of slide sensation there to the ninth fret G, and then nine E, nine G, and then seven seven on the G and the E. So do that again, one, two, and a, one, two, and a, three, and four, and one. One more time, one, two, and a, three, and four, and one, two, three. It's a really nice little kind of clever uh, kind of lift. Again, you can, you know, they might not be exact in parts, but they're pretty close, and you can always play around with these types of shapes. It's really cool. Okay, so then we've got, um, the next bar coming on the end of two again. Uh, one, two, and a three, four. So I think there's some sort of, again, another slide starting on the fifth fret here. One, two, and a three, four. And then seven, seven on the E string. One, two, and three, four. Okay, um, and that was the whole of the, the kind of round one of the third verse. And then we're gonna start again with our 12, 12, 14, 14. One, two, three, four, and this bit goes actually up a bit further. So one, two, and a three, and four, and one. A one, two, uh, okay, so you're starting on the and of two, one, two, and a three, and a four, and one. Slightly different rhythm here. Uh, so you come in on the and of two with a slide from 14 to 16 on the G, one, two, and a, then 15th fret E, on the uh, second uh, beat three, start beat three of this bar, and then 14, 14, G and E, and the uh, okay, so it's three E and uh, so three E and uh, and then there's a tie, and then you're coming in 12, 12, on the end of four, and one, so that bar again, one, two, one, two, and a three E and a four, and one, one more time, one, two, and a three, and a four, and one. Really cool bit. Really kind of nice and melodic there. And then, um, okay, this next bar, so we're now in bar four of the third verse. You've got one, two, and a three, and four. Okay, so similar te techniques. One, two, and a, so 10 to 12 on the G, one, two, and a, and then alternate between E, and uh, sorry, do the E string, 12th fret E and then 12th fret G, and 12th, 12th G in the E strings, and then 11, 10 on the G and the E. Okay, and then just let that ring for the whole bar as, as kind of usual, that happens that that bit just on its own in a bar is, is quite common, as we've seen. And then the kind of last few riffs. So what we've got is uh, on the end of one again, one, so end of two, sorry, one, two, and, uh, and then, uh, one, two, and a three, and. So again, that sort of shift slide down as well as when you've started it. So one, two, slide up, slide down straight away to ninth fret G, then nine E, and then slide again, and then seventh fret E. So I'll play that slowly. One, two, and a three, and four, and one. 
really cool riff that is. One, two, and a three, and four, and one. Okay, and then final bar. One, and then two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. So you're sliding from five to seven on the G. One, and a, the semiquaver 16th notes there, and then seven, E, seven, G, and then seven, seven on the E string. So let me play the whole of the third verse. So some really cool patterns in here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, Two and a three and a four and one two three four one two and three and four one two three four one two and three and four and one two three four one and two and three four. Cool. So that's all the parts. Again, so we've gone through the rhythm, the kind of chord bits, all that bit is kind of on the kind of main backing uh, guitar and then obviously you've got the main chords and the chorus and the sax solo the kind of nice choppy chords and obviously all these kind of these lead parts as well so uh, between all of those three and the other instruments it's a pretty cool song so um i hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already and remember to hit that bell icon for notifications give it a big uh, thumbs up if you like enjoyed the video uh, thanks again to patron uh, Pierre Roger Schoen for the request and I'll see you next week. Cheers, bye.